deal with airplane peanuts. This fucking Dave Chappelle thing's crazy. Uh, last night, I guess it was, yep. someone attacked him at the Hollywood Bowl. He's fine. I checked in with him today. He was laughing about it. He's uh, in good spirits. He was. There's a video actually. He's he was laughing like right afterwards. Yeah. Because Jamie Foxx apparently had a cowboy hat and he jumped on stage to help. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Foxx with a cowboy hat jumped on stage to fuck that dude up. It is just a wild time, man. Fuck. I don't know. What do you guys think about it? So some I, people are I, blaming Will Smith. Okay. Where they're like, oh, this is Will Smith's fault. He normalized attacking comedians and he oh. slapped a comedian that everyone cheered. Yeah. Blah blah blah. I'm like, I don't really think that has anything to do with I it. Think it's, he, it's, it's not it his help. fault. It, it's just people don't do things because uh, they're normal. They do things for attention. And Will Smith doing it got crazy attention. This is going to get crazy attention. More people will continue to do it as long as it gets the attention. It's like the, uh, I don't know if they said this about school shootings or like, or terror but they said the more the media, <laughs> the more the media puts it out, the more they end up happening. I right, yeah, like that. copycat shit. Basically, yeah, because yeah. you get attention from exactly. it. exactly. And this kid's gonna get crazy attention. And from apparently, this. he's a rapper. Uh, oh, here we go. oh, that's yeah. And apparently, he has a song called Dave Chappelle. Yeah, it's just such a weird thing, man. I think it's good he got his ass beat though. Yeah, that precedent should be set. If you fuck with a comic on stage, you will get your ass beat. The Chappelle thing was so scary. This yeah, thing, right? Not scary, but all right. No. <laughs> Somebody, somebody ran on stage and got their ass whooped. It's not scary. It's not scary. I know. It's, one, it's, it's one of those things that need to happen, though, right? Like, by the no. way. No. Yes. No. What do you mean, no? What do you mean, yes? Okay. Mike, do you want people to continue to think that they can cross that line? and break the barrier of entertainer and... Oh, no, and, no, we're okay. on the same side so, of this. Yeah, that's my point. There is a momentary yes. confusion. Well, I don't know how you can get confused there, Mike. Somebody getting their ass whipped sends a message out to other people that was like, you know, I was thinking about doing that, but <laughs> oh, after okay. saying that, I don't really okay, want to do we're that. we're saying the same thing. I'm saying it's scary that a person attacked Dave in the first place. No, I think, uh, look, I think that the, the world that we're in right now, there's a lot of lines that have gotten blurred. Uh, and sometimes you gotta take a couple steps backwards to take some steps forward. And I think that moment that we just witnessed with Dave is like fogging up a bigger moment. Like Dave just made history at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. Dave sold over 70,000. Unbelievable, people, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And Dave went back after that and finished doing the show yeah. and didn't let that thing be a big thing. Yeah. He quickly moved on from it and got back to doing comedy. And that's what a professional does. Yeah. And ultimately, you know, these moments of improfessionalism should not break uh, professionals. They, they shouldn't shape or mold the world that we're now being seen or viewed in. So I think it's time to get back to a place of respect. My week's going fucking great. I just had my last stressful gig of the year. All right? Now the rest of them, I can just fucking have a good time and try not to get tackled while I do my shit jokes. <laughs> uh, I like that people are saying, do you say you worried now? Do you think it's good? Are you worried as a comedian that things are going to happen? It's like, no. These crazy people only seem to be attacking black comedians in Los Angeles. All right? <laughs> Now, I am in Los Angeles, but I am as white as a bedsheet. All right? And I'm proud of that. And you can't take that away from me or else that's reverse something or other, I think. It's a double standard. Um, why can't I be proud of my alabaster legs? God knows I pay for it every summer. Dude, look how fucking white your legs are. I realize that. Dude, your legs could be president. How did he fucking get in the Hollywood Bowl... With probably. that weapon, I don't know. Probably there sure. weren't. I don't know. Probably it was. Plastic. That's what's that. That's what's crazy to me. Ooh, look, look at that fucking arm. arm. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, he's a dick. Yeah. People yeah. were saying it looks like Tom Segura when he tried to dunk the basketball. Oh, when he hit his yeah. fucking yeah. arm was fucking. That arm's broken, by the way. Definitely. Look, that arm's fucked. There is also like the way they led him into the um the like when he got into the actual stretcher, you could see he's fucked. It's so funny. You can tell the type of beat up that somebody is when they're getting kicked on the ground by different from different angles by different people. It's a different yeah. type of like beat up look. 
Yeah. You that, could tell that that left, that that left side of his face was the side that was either on the ground <laughs> or totally like away from everything. And the other side was getting punched. Just everything swollen on the yeah. one side. Yeah, he's fucked. That guy, he mean, Jesus Christ. I can't believe that happened. I can't believe they let that guy leave without his Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> They beat the hell out of that guy. Man, he was fucked up. Then I saw that Chris Brown was on the lineup. I was like, oh, that chick. But, uh, you know, pretty crazy. You know, the guy had a knife and he tackled Chappelle and didn't hurt him at all. I mean, Dave Chappelle does more damage when he hits his knee with a microphone. <laughs> anyway, so last night, I I had to host a show for Net- Netflix. Um... I hosted this show during the, you know, they're having the big Netflix comedy festival out here, which has been fucking amazing. All of these comedians that I've been running into, it's been such a great time. You know, when lunatics aren't, you know, charging up at the stage. Jesus Christ, did they fuck that guy up. No, the pedal was like a G because he did not get taken he down. He did not get no, taken no, down. No, he no. fucking, when wrestling, you know, when they, when they shoot, Sprawl. he fucking, yeah, he fucking yeah. backed up. And yeah, like, and, and he had kind of funny lines to say after it, like, in that moment, you're shook. Yeah. Somebody runs up on stage, and apparently the dude had like a weapon or whatever. Yeah. He had like or a, a knife, a fake this, gun. This that article like is also a knife. shaped knife. Did you you saw the actual video? I saw the video. First of all, Dave Chappelle has good hips because yeah. he the guy yeah, shoots he in on him, on him and he kind of turned with him. He kind of kung fu'd him. Yeah, he came a little like Hito. <laughs> Have you watched the video? As the guy's coming in, he's coming in this way, and Dave kind of like turns a little. And it's balls too. Chappelle's a big boy, bigger than you think he is. Well, the guy's crazy. Clearly, yeah. there's something wrong with him. Look at this. And I mean, there's just no way to hips. describe how not expecting that you are when you're on stage. Yeah. Look at him. He just runs away. <laughs> and then the comedian clicks <laughs> in, and he comes back because he's like, "Wait, I have to." It's my mic right now. Look at this guy running. Oh my god, that guy's never tackled anybody in his uh-uh. life. No, Chappelle almost almost makes it clear out all the way. Yeah, almost. If he just had a little training. See, that was all an instinct. Mm-hmm. If he just had a little training. Imagine if he just punted that dude in the head when he went down. Yeah, one of those Masvidal knees. It was a, it was a trans man. <laughs> was that Will Smith? This guy jumped up on stage and attacked Dave Chappelle. Let me ask you a question. As soon as that happened, did they let him go back to his seat and laugh and sit next to his wife and then give him an (laughs) award? No. They took him backstage. They broke his arms and hands so bad that when they carried out this attacker on the stretcher, his arm, there's a video of it. You can watch it. His arm is twisted backwards. It's like no human arm ever. They broke broke his hands, his, his wrists, his arm. They beat the out of him. But at the Academy Awards, the same exact thing happened. And everyone came over and consoled Will Smith. No one, there was no Jamie Foxx, no one helped out Chris Rock. Nobody said anything. No one said, throw this guy out of the room. I told you, I said, uh, you know, after watching it, Chris Rock didn't have a friend in the room. No, he didn't. (laughs) Because it was live television. And Hollywood didn't know what to do about Will Smith. It's Listen, you don't treat Will Smith any different than they did the Chappelle attacker. He didn't say motive or anything like that. They, they haven't come out with any seems of that like shit. Seems like a crazy dude. Some, yeah, People just are seems- trying to draw it to the fact that there was backlash with Dave Chappelle and his trans jokes, but there... It isn't confirmed. I, yeah, I, I don't want to go this off. Guy, I don't want to go guy, off this of that. This person's mentally disturbed. Yeah, that's what that's. Yeah, when you're that famous and you have that many people, there's going to be a crazy person who's going to do something nuts. Here's actual footage of him getting tackled. I don't like watching it. Did he get? Did, Dave Chappelle didn't fall though, right? I think he did tumble at the very end, but you'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for hip hop history. But that was. That was a tackle. Bit, yeah, that was a, that was a tackle. tackle. Well, he sucked at that tackle. Well, fuck that guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck that shit. I mean, look at him. Goddamn. Sonny yeah. Asian. He I mean, looks a little bit, but he also got punched in the face a lot, so that's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. They're just a little bit more close nah, from nah, the repeated nah, punches Asian. in the face. We're not, huh? taking, we're not taking another one. What, you're not taking another one? Yeah. Why do black males hate 
comedy. Why do black males hate <laughs> black comedy? Nah, so why do why black do males black hate black comedy? And Asian men hate comedy. Black on black <laughs> comic yeah. crime. Yo, black on black crime within the comedy world, man. Sorry. This is disgusting. <laughs> Watch out with them jokes, huh? You get it too. <laughs> I'm just saying, but is it? I mean, well, I don't want it to happen, anybody. We got, <laughs> we got two more shows left on this tour. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. The infamous fun. tour is almost over. You got two more chances in Vancouver to get me. <laughs> there is no security in the front row at this thing. Like, there should have been someone there that was uh, scanning the audience for fucking weirdos. They're ready to sprint. Crazy. Well, we live in strange times, man. I mean, and after the Chris Rock thing, that was one of the things I was worried about. I was like, are people thinking they're going to start smacking comedians now if they don't like what they're saying? Yeah. And what I'm thinking or what I'm worried about is that. Uh, you know, people think that's justified. Like people keep they keep using the same things. I, I saw an article. They said his transphobic statements. They're not. They're not fucking statements. They're jokes. They're not jokes that are transphobic either. They're jokes that feature trans people. They're not transphobic jokes. His whole bit in that last special that everybody was mad at is essentially a love letter to his friend that killed herself because she was supporting him and she got attacked on stage. The idea that that in somehow or another is transphobic just because he's talking about a trans person is fucking crazy. What's the most unhinged audience member you've ever had? Um, I mean, the worst one is when I got hit with a, a buffalo wing. I talked about that for a minute. <laughs> That happened. That's the that's the worst one. That's a famous in, story. In the clubs? Yeah, some, some in the yeah. clubs. Somebody threw a buffalo wing at me. Um, but but here's like here's what people have forgotten. In stand-up comedy, it's always been the world of heckler and comedian. Comedian has always dealt with heckler. Yeah. Heckler has always shouted out things because he felt that he could. A comedian's way of shutting that down was to say things back. It wasn't, it wasn't bullying, it wasn't picking on, it was all done in fun. We've now lost the sight of the relationship of audience to comedian. And that line has gotten blurred to where it's like, well, I don't need to do this and like this, and I can stand up and make a point. Well, it becomes a, a hard case of, well, why did you come? Yeah. Why did you, why did you buy a ticket yeah. if that was your want or need? So when I say we need to get back to the place of respecting the entertainer, respect the craft. If you're coming, come to have a good time and enjoy the person that you saw. If you have no interest in that, you don't have to buy a ticket. Like, imagine you pay $1,500 or maybe more than that, to sit front row at a Dave Chappelle concert just to attack him. The dude had a fake gun, replica gun, whatever it was, and he had a legit knife. Like the Hollywood Bowl should be held accountable for this guy bringing those type of weapons into a venue. Like, just say the gun was real. This guy would have really killed Dave Chappelle or injured somebody else who was on stage with Dave Chappelle. Like, we had uh, Dave Chappelle, Jamie Foxx, Buster Rhymes, and numerous amounts of other people that were there, and also Chris Rock. I mean, Chris Rock even came on uh, at the aftermath and said, uh, was that Will Smith? Like, you, like, I'm glad they were able to make a joke out of it. Nobody got really hurt except for the guy who attacked Dave Chappelle. I mean, they broke his arm, bro. He kind of looked like Woody from Toy Story when he got finished. Damn, man. Yeah, it is wild. You think that this will continue to happen? Oh, yeah. Really? For a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be a thing. Oh shit! Yeah, I better watch out. Man. I don't know about you. I, I'm a great fighter, so I'll be all right. <laughs> Are you at all concerned? I, you know what I used to say even beforehand was like, I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. So if you legit don't want to be talked to, just give me a little thing and I'll move on. Yeah, I hate that awkward shit where somebody's like, "Yo, shut the fuck up, move on," and then I, we got to do that. And I got to pretend I'm ready to fight you even though we both know I'm not. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> So yeah. I'll say that shit early on in shows. Like, as I'm teasing somebody, I'll be like, yo, by the way, just thing. If you don't want to be talked to, that's fine. Just let me, just give me one of these and I'll move on. So I think it disengages a lot of that shit. Mm. But that is a thing I've had to think about being 5'7 for years doing comedy, talking shit to people. Shout out to Jamie Foxx, by the way. Jamie, Jamie, where you at? Jamie, 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 hold up. Make some noise for Fox. Whenever you're in trouble, 
Jamie Foxx would show up in a sheriff's hat. <laughs> Turn the mic up. What the hell? I thought that was part of the show. I don't know what the fuck is. I, I, I grabbed the back of that his head. His hair was spongy. <laughs> Absorbent. Listen, I just want to say, man, I, I've had an incredible time. This man is an absolute genius. We got to make sure we protect him at all times, man. This is what it's about. For every comedian that comes out here, man, this means everything, man. You're a genius. You're a legend. I enjoyed myself thoroughly, and we're not going to let nothing happen to you. Right. Give it up. <laughs>